How you guys doing? This is Miscellaneous Gamer. I want to go ahead and say thank you very much for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not have the motivation to do what I do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this out there while I got y'all's attention. I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for the fame. I'm just here for the sub count and the views. Because YouTube is like a little side hobby for me. And I enjoy all the love and feedback that you guys have been giving me these past few months. Now, granted, I'm only at 140. That doesn't sound like a whole lot for most people. But to me, that's phenomenal. I love it. I love you guys. Thank you very much. But also, like I said, while I got you here right now, I'm going to do a small shout out for a good buddy of mine. His channel is We Always Die. He does seven days to die content. Pretty funny, pretty badass. Go check him out. He's pretty cool. Me and him talk on a weekly basis. And I also want to say, dude, thank you for the love and support and the comments and all that kind of stuff. Yes, there will be future projects. No, I am not done with my compound yet. So I appreciate the concerns of curiosity of what I'm doing and how I'm going to do what I do. But anyways, while I got that out of the way, I'm sitting here at a crossroad. I don't know which direction I want to go. I'm going to continue doing my daily content like I've been doing between 7 Days to Die and GTA 5. But I'm kind of slowly running out of ideas on what to do on both games. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death with vehicle updates or death updates between GTA 5 or compound updates with 7 Days to Die. So kind of throw some ideas at me guys. Let me know what you think I should do between both games. And yes, I was going to wait and save this until a later note, but I got some good news. I just recently purchased a few new games. So be looking forward to some new content. But don't worry guys, don't worry. I'm not going to let go of 7 Days to Die and I'm not going to let go of GTA 5. I'm still going to do those. But at that point in life, everybody knows you have to update a little bit just to keep the fun and excitement going. Because I don't want to burn you guys out but at the same time, I don't want to burn myself out doing the same thing constantly. But uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and let you guys know, excuse me, sorry, you guys know that I just got the new Modern Warfare Remastered. I just got Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So in the future, I'll buy a few of the map packs and stuff like that and do like a live stream of like, you know, survivalness when it comes to the zombies and shit like that with my all-time old school favorite map the giant and for modern warfare remastered probably just fuck around and have a good time but anyways sorry for wasting you guys time of talking too too much and too long but um i'm gonna get off here love you guys thanks for the comments thanks for the love thanks for the feedback and wow, 140. I never knew I would make it this far, to be honest. It's amazing. But, like I said, I'm not going to yak y'all's head off. I'm going to let y'all get back to doing what y'all's doing, and I'm going to get back to doing what I love to do. Play, content, create, and upload. Be looking forward to some uh, 7 Days to Die coming up soon. Love you guys, and I'm out.